Hi, uh, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do for you guys a review. So I've uh, I've talked about this movie before once in um, a while back for a as my overrated, um, not overrated, I should say, uh, underrated movie. Um, and so this under so this is called the uh, this underrated movie I'm going to talk to you about. Which is the movie I'm going to review for you guys is called um, Parkland, and Parkland is about um, the um, the assassination of JFK. Let's say it has Gianni Versace, but it's not. Um, it's on JFK. That is the um, he was the president of America who got assassinated. You all guys will know um, the case by now. Um, and it shows the days after his assassination and how and what happened to the killer who the guy who shot him and stuff like that. So um so who stars in it? Zach Efron plays the doctor, the trust to save him. Tom Welling and a few others do. I'm not sure some of them I don't know. Um, one of the guy who's filmed there, I think, was in Saving Mr. Blanks. He played the uh, chauffeur. That's another thing. Um, so, I thought one of her, this movie is a very good, very, 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 very well done, man. Very well made uh, movie that um, that um, made. Um, it, it, it has the, all the drama you want, all, like, you know the action when it's needed. It's just all round. It was excellent. Excellent. I couldn't stop watching it when I was um viewing it that um the other day. It's very good. Um it has like all the drama. The uh, acting in the film is excellent. Yeah, it just was all round. It just there was like, you know, that shows you like the um the issues of um JFK, I uh, like, you know, it talks about, like, you know, the pol politics and there's all the politics part of it. But, overall, it was, uh, was an excellent movie. That's what I'm going to say. Very excellent movie. Was it underrated? I think it was under, not, I don't think a lot of people know about this film. So, which is why I think it's really underrated and underdeserved, and it's not deserved that it's people don't know it about it so much about this film um because of the how well it made like i said how well it was made and everything and stuff like that so yeah so now time for some quick facts the 1964 cadillac curse that transported uh, transport J john f kennedy's body from the hospital to love field is almost exactly the same as the original one down to the license plate, which was W6, WC609. The original sold at the Barrett Jackson auction for, auction for $160,000. The movie was released on the 22nd of November 2013, exactly 50 years to the day after the, the event occurred. Um, Abraham Zapruder films while standing on a column. With his secretary Marilyn, Marilyn, I can't talk today, Stutzman standing near him. In real life, um, Zapruder suffered from vertigo and his sec secretary stood behind him, um, holding on atop the column to help him with the ballots. So, um, Zapruder spent much of the rest of his life struggling with the, uh, his association with the, uh, assassination. Um, he had a constant, uh, um, battle with guilt and remorse. And on the other side of this, trying to make something out of it by selling the film. So, dealing with the facts. Um, Parkland Hospital was recreated in an abandoned psychiatric hospital in Austin, Texas. This is the set. Um, hey, Sharon, if yeah. take and again, continuing with the facts. Um, 
all the trauma seems to shot over a period of 10 days. Uh, some of the film's most compelling and revealing scenes take place in the um, Parkland Hospital emergency room and trauma unit where both um, JFK and Lee Harvey Oswald spend their final moments. So yeah, that's all for my video for this week. I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye.